is Jeff Robinson. Uh, I was born, raised, grew up in Springfield, Illinois. Uh, went to school there in undergrad at the University of Illinois Springfield. Uh, went to grad school at Illinois State University uh, here in Normal. Um, uh, and I currently work uh, at the University of Illinois Springfield, back where I grew up. Uh, I teach uh, painting and drawing courses and I also work as the uh, director of the University's Visual Arts Gallery. So uh, the show Warning Signs uh, is um, something that came about uh, that I've been thinking about a lot in terms of uh, my recent transitions. I, I got married and I uh, now split my time between Springfield and Chicago. Um, so I commute half the week. I'm living in one and, and then in the other. So it's a I'm constantly on the road and I'm constantly seeing, uh, you know, uh, traffic signs, road construction signs, all these different signs that are sort of telling you what to expect ahead. Um, and then uh, and thinking about that and uh, almost in a, as a, in a prophetic way or something, thinking about warning signs also as uh, in other uh, associations as a sort of prophetic thing to watch out for this thing that's coming up. Um, and then I was just thinking about that also in terms of where we seem to find ourselves now politically, uh, socially, culturally, as a um, these uh, where we're finding ourselves, where we thought maybe we had advanced to a point, maybe now we're questioning that, or there's this back and forth. And so, um, I tend to work by trying to pare down symbols and languages to use really iconic and easily understood um, references, uh, whether it's uh, in this case a parking block as a parking block, or um, uh, these really strong and easily read visual cues. Um, that through some sort of alteration or manipulation of them or a different way that they're being presented um, kind of steers uh, how they function. Um, and that's happened more recently with images too. Um, and so there's some imagery in the show that does that. Um, that's sort of images within a sort of sculptural uh, or uh, dimensional object. Two pieces in the show that are both um, shaped like, um, they're like the standard sort of diamond shaped sign. Um, but, uh, and they're in that orientation. And one is uh, placed on a wall, but it's placed in such a way, um, and it's oriented in such a way, hanging from the wall where its back is turned to us. So we don't get to see the sign, right? It's, um, we, we don't get to see what is on the sign or if there is something on the sign. And then there's another that's a freestanding sign on the A-frame, like those temporary ones that they bring out when there's uh, road construction or something. But it has one of those, I don't know if you've ever been on the road and seen if there's a speed sign that says warning, speed reduced, but then it's not the case and so they block it out temporarily. Um, so there's one that has a similar sort of thing where there's this sort of backing that's applied over the sign so that it also is illegible. So I was using the, uh, the I, that's one of those ways that I'm manipulating a thing. It's a very uh, identifiable object, but um, it's positioned or oriented or changed in such a way where uh, I'm thinking of them almost as, again, as these sort of prophetic objects or something that are sort of turning their backs to us, right? Like, we've been warned, we didn't heed the warning, and so now they've turned away from us or something. And so um, I think that maybe is those two objects um, understood in that way maybe kind of give framing to the whole show. Mm -hmm.